Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create these cool three complex roof shapes in Revit. Now I'm going to be using roof by extrusion command as well as roof by face or true massing in Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be starting an architectural template for this project and here I'm going to be creating my roofs. So first let's create an in-place mass roof and I'm going to be creating two shapes of roofs. One will be kind of a flat face roof and the other one will be kind of a curvy wavy roof. So let's do the flat face roof first and I saw this image of this model architectural model and it looks kind of cool so I thought why not create that in Revit for this example so here I'm just going to go here to massing and site tab go in place mass just cancel out of this let's call it mass one and here we are so first I'm just going to create one rectangle that's going to be kind of representing the house so let's create it like like this let's make it a bit longer Okay, and now let's go into 3D. So we have our rectangle that's representing our house. So I'm just going to select it and go here, create form. And you get something that looks like this. Once we have this generic house shape, box shape, now we can start playing around with our roof. So I'm going to go here to reference line, make sure that drawn face is selected and make sure the 3D snapping is selected. And now I'm just going to start from this here point, go down over here like this, go up over here, connect it down here, and then move down over here and connect it up here. Okay, so you get something that looks like this. That's the generic shape of the roof I've shown you in that model. Now I'm going to delete our box, so we're kind of left just with this. And here I'm just going to pick one point and make it higher, so it kind of has slopes on each side and now let's create some faces from this so I'm going to select these two sides then by holding the control I'm going to select this side too and go here you create form and you just go and select this flat face form and if you can't really see anything try turning to realistic and maybe in this angle you can see something but you can't really see this ma this massing that that's not good Okay, in consistent colors it looks better. Then you go and select these two, this one as well, you go create form, you select this, and now you can see we have our faces. Now, because that roof from the model is kind of divided into three parts, I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm just going to go here to site plan, go to model, select rectangle, go set work plane, and I'm going to set it to work plane 1 uncheck 3D snapping and make sure to check draw on work plane for this one because we only want to draw on work plane level 1. And now I'm just going to create a rectangle that kind of cuts this house here and here as well. So now I can go into 3D. You can see we have this. I select one of these rectangles, I go create form, extend it all the way up so it's going through our roof shape and change the form from solid to void. And now as you can see we have this cut in our roof. Do the same thing for the other one, so create form, extend it all the way beyond roof and go here from solid to void. And you get this. Okay, so once this is finished you just go finish mass, you get a warning but don't worry it's not important. And now you, we have this shape and now we need to create our walls and our roof course. So go to architecture and first for the roof open up roof by footprint here and find this roof by face. And you just need to select these two faces, go create roof and it usually just makes it on one face for some reason then you select the other one, you go create roof and you get the both of them. So once you have your roof you go into level one and you probably can't see your roof so here try to go on overlay where is it? Okay, here's overlay, try level 2 and now we can see your roof. And once you're here now we can create our walls. So I'm going to go here to wall, create, select rectangle and from wall center line I'm going to choose here finish face exterior because this is the exterior face of the wall. And here I'm just going to leave it a generic and for the height 
let's just leave it at level 2 we'll connect it to the roof later on so I'm just going to create one roof here one roof here and the last one here okay now let's go into 3d it looks like this I'm going to select all four of these walls and you do that just by hovering over one of them and hit the tab key you select all of them you go attach top base and you select one roof and you get something that looks like this then you go undrawn then you once everything is selected you go again attach top base and you select the other roof and you just go here and you get something that looks like this now as you can see this wall didn't connect properly but don't worry we're going to fix that later now you do the same thing the same process for the rest of them so you attach one side then you attach to the other side and you do the same thing for this one okay and as you can see we have left this one and this one unconnected so I'm just going to select them and go edit profile and just by using the align tool I can align them to this or if that doesn't work just go pick lines and select this line delete the, this and just use trim and extend to trim this in place and you go finish and you do the same thing for this wall so edit profile you delete this line you use pick lines to capture this line and then just by trim and extend you connect everything and you finish so you get this cool looking roof shape okay for the second one I'm going to be reproducing this roof I did for this project for school early on and I'm just going to go to level 1 and it's a roof by extrusion but it's kinda different and I'll show you how so here I'm just going to go wall and let's create another rectangle so something like this and because in my project all houses were rotated towards the south by 30 degrees so here I'm just going to rotate this by 30 degrees like so and now let's create a reference plane on which we'll draw our extrusion for our roof so just go here reference plane and just place it like so vertically select it and name it roof so you can easier select it easier later on so once we have this reference plane we can go to adequate elevation in this case this is east elevation and here we have our walls of our house so let's model the roof uh, so I'm just going to go here to roof open this up and go roof by extrusion and for pick a plane as you remember we named it roof so I'm just going to select reference plane roof go OK select it to be at level 2 and now let's do the lining so let's do one line like this then let's turn to spline and kinda do these two points over here and then let's finish it off with a line here and then you go finish now let's go into 3D to see what that looks like and it looks like this so it doesn't really look nice but don't worry we'll fix that up and then you just use these grip lines to kinda make it go around the house just make sure that it encompasses the whole house and now we need to trim this roof up so you go here into edit profile or sorry edit vertical so just select this vertical opening and this is for making vertical openings but it can also be used to trim all of these extents so I'm just going to go here to site and here we have our roof but we can't see our house so just change this graphic display options to wireframe and now you can see your walls and then just by using pick lines I'm going to select outer lines of the walls so this is where we want our roof to finish maybe extend it a bit here and here to make it look cooler I don't know maybe like this and then because you want to cut everything else off you just create another rectangle around this so the void is actually this ring rectangular ring thing and when you go finish and into 3d you get roof that looks like this so you can see it has a curve but because it's at 30 degrees it looks quite cool on this on the on these walls so I'm just going to select all of these walls and go attach top base and attach them to this okay so this is roof by extrusion and we made it quite interesting and for the final one will it will be just a curvy wall or, or curvy roof so I'm just going to go here to massing in the site and go to in place mass let's select a mass go into level one and let's add some reference planes so I'm just going to go here and maybe do three in a row 
So you create like three reference planes like this and you name them. Let's name this one one, this one two, and this one three. Okay, then you go into perhaps into 3D or you can go just to write elevation like so, this is perhaps better. And now let's just try, start drawing our roof. So here I'm just going to go here to model line. Make sure that this work on work, work plane is selected. Make sure 3D snapping is off. And then you set your work plane and you set it to plane one. And then you can start drawing over here. So I'm just going to draw a spline like this. Then I'm going to go here to modify, then set work plane. Let's set it up to two. Again, create spline, perhaps like this. Just make sure it's not too crazy because then it won't be able to create a roof. And then let's create another one at number three. So let's do something like this. You go finish, you go into 3D and this is what you get. Now you select all of them just by holding the control key and you go create form and you get crazy wavy roof like this. So you just go to finish mass and then you go to architecture, roof, roof by face. You select this face, you go create roof and this is what you get. And of course later on you can go into level one and perhaps do some walls. You can do, let's just do a rectangle over here and then go into 3D select all of these walls, attach to the top base, and you get this thing. Okay, so these are three complex roof shapes in Revit made easy. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this tutorial, and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.